Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to sniff a few men's fragrances that my brother-in-law brought over for me because I said I actually don't know a lot about men's fragrances and I would like to sniff a few and it's best to get from someone's collection because they actually went out and chose those. Look, I'm not the greatest at um, describing like notes of men's fragrances. I can only tell you what I smell. I can only tell you um, whether I would like to smell it on a guy, whether I would buy it for a guy, and what I would rate it as a woman. And you should care about my opinion, right? Because women are the ones smelling it on you, right? So yeah. I actually, I mean, if I find any that I think is sexy enough for a woman to wear, I'd wear it because something about a woman wearing a masculine fragrance is also strong and I think it's sexy. I find it sexy. The man might not find it sexy on you, but it's also about how you feel with your fragrances. All right, let's do this. So I've got the frags right here. Oh, they brought me some samples as well in that little bag. Okay, so the first one that I spotted is Dior Sauvage. Let's just move this out of the way for a little bit. I've smelled this on someone before and I really, really, really love it on them. So I'm gonna see what it smells like, like just straight out the bottle, cause it could be that guy's like body chemistry as well that makes it just smell so sexy. And I think he said he mixes it with something else, so. Oh, uh, just showing you, I love the packaging as well. You know that I'm a girl. I know I don't think guys care for stuff like that, like packaging, but it's sexy. So I can smell it from this is like just such a typical man's cologne. Like I smell this and I smell a man. I think this is sexy. I don't care how much guys wear this, I think this is sexy. I think this is sexy. So Dior Sauvage is woman approved. I give it and eight only because it's sexy but it kind of smells like I can't differentiate that between any other like colognes that I've ever smelled on a guy like that smells like what a guy typically smells like when he sprays cologne or wears aftershave so this is Chanel blue um, I bought this for my dad before I don't remember if I smelled it I just know that he loves it so he kind of doesn't mind if every time it's his birthday you give him um, blue de Chanel, sorry. Why do we always call it Chanel Blue? And it sounds better, it should have been called Chanel Blue. Sounds better. So that is the bottle here. Oops. I'm so bad at spraying. Um, this smells spicy. I love that their caps are magnetic. The Dior Sauvage um, cap was magnetic as well. This smells citrusy and spicy. I feel like the Dior, the Sauvage, smells more like a nighttime perfume. Yeah, you could wear this in the night too, but you can get away with this in the daytime. I should look up the notes of these while I'm talking to you just in case there's anything that jumps out. Like, I'm not really familiar with men's notes, but I mean, it's in English, right? So there must be something I can recognize. Yeah, I, I quite like this. Not super bright. This is sexy enough for night and evening wear. I don't know how long y'all perfumes last on you guys though. And these are EDTs. This is an EDT as well. I'm aware that EDTs in men's fragrances are longer lasting. For women, our longest lasting fragrances are Eau de Parfum. Okay, it says it has lemon and grapefruit in the top. And is that pink pepper? And pink pepper and ginger. I can smell these in the Chanel. It definitely definitely has the citrus and the pepper. I don't want these to break, so let's just put them on the floor so that they don't knock off the table because I want to be spending money on my own perfumes. I don't want to be buying back. <laughs> so this one is, not familiar with this, Paco Rabanne Inviticus. Invic Invictus. Wow. I'm going to have to spray like some of them on my hands sometimes. Hmm. This one's alright. This kind of reminds me of Sean John's Unforgivable, but that one was nicer. This is a little sweet. This one's not bad. This one's not bad. Out of the three so far, I don't have any that I'd be like, I don't want my guy to wear that. 
sexy. But this is a little softer or a little sweeter. There's something like that. It says that it's a citrus marine. Oh, that's why it smells so light and a little softer. It says it's fresh, spicy, marine, and marine is water. So this, this smells nice. And I can see how you can, I would more wear like something like this to a brunch because you wouldn't want to bother people's noses. I think if you're going to like a club or you're going out um, to a nighttime event or something like that, you can wear the other strong ones. I wouldn't even say to a black tie event because for a black tie event, I think that a man should wear something like a little smoky, like um, Tom Ford Oud Wood or like tobacco vanille, you can lean towards the sweeter side because you want to smell inviting to other people. The Sauvage smells a little, a little dangerous. I'll just leave it at that. This is good to wear to like a brunch. This is nice. Oh, I should rate them, right? On a scale of one to 10. Like Sauvage, I find that it's like sexy so far, but kind of typical. So because it's not unique smelling, I'll just give it an eight. The others are eights as well. Versace, The Dreamer. They actually sent me some tester strips as well. I think that's so cute. They were prepared. They, they respect my hustle, okay? So excited. Oh, um, I just made up my face because I was more thinking of it as a female and I'm forgetting these are not my fragrances. And this doesn't smell bad. This smells green, citrusy. It smells like peppers in this as well. It smells fresh. Almost has like a mouthwash kind of, like a hint of mouthwash or toothpaste kind of thing afterwards. Definitely pepper and satin green. We're gonna look these notes up. But it's not bad. But it's not my favorite. This can be your everyday if you want. Floral, powdery, ooh. So in the top notes, it's definitely green. It has juniper, tarragon, and artemisia. I don't know what that is. But if you look at the pictures, they're all green at the top. So this can be your fresh, going to work everyday kind of fragrance. I would give this a six, just because it's just your everyday fragrance. I wouldn't say run out and buy this or use this as your date scent. This is not like, ooh, I won't smell his neck or something like that. This is just like, he smells fresh and clean. I expect a man to smell pretty fresh and if they smell like trees or grass or being outside it's it's madly it's madly it's fine uh next i feel like someone dipping into a bag before they get to choose their secret santa i don't know feels cool like i got loads of gifts or something so this is lennon we del home i don't know if they pronounce the h's but it looks like this okay and and it has the ysl thing at the top here Oh, this smells sexy and this smells like cinnamon is in there or cardamom or ginger something spicy like that this smells like christmas and thanksgiving i quite like this and i wouldn't mind if you wore this on a date or a dinner scent it could be it's really nice because it's not overpowering i want to smell my food as well but i need to smell you after the food this is nice i would give this an i'd give this an eight this is very good, but I'm gonna save 10 for the ones that make me just, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saving my 10 for. It says it has cumin, you know that's a spice. That's why I'm smelling something that reminds me of like cinnamon or something like that, cause it does, as I said, it reminds me of the holidays. And then it's woody with your florals. I really like it, I really like it. It's not overpowering with the citrus, which I think a lot of men's fragrances will be. But this is sexy so i'll leave that as i'll give that a nine i'll give that a nine I, i'd prefer if you wear that every day instead of the invictus yeah i prefer to smell this and this can e easily transition to your nighttime and easily even transition to your black tie event like if you were going to a wedding you wouldn't smell like too much sitting you know around guests and everything you just smell like a refined sexy man i really like this okay what else we got in the bag what else we got in the bag oh i've smelled this before spice bomb by victor and raw and i didn't like it the bottle is cool and you know it's like a grenade but i know that i don't love it 
yeah i don't love this yeah this doesn't this doesn't intrigue me this doesn't make me want to keep smelling you i'm not even gonna look at the notes i know it has pepper in there because i can smell it straight up from the top i'd rate that like a four and it's not because it stinks as i said i just really don't enjoy it this one is diesel i think i smelt a guy in this um on friday when i went out i kept asking him what he was wearing it smelled kind of green to me i didn't enjoy it but it just smelled familiar so but he probably think that i liked it why i kept asking him what is he wearing but that's because he wouldn't tell me but i guess he just wasn't sure if i hated it or not why i kept asking yeah yeah i don't love this it reminds me of something but i don't know what and I don't want my guy to smell like this either. It kind of bugged me because he kept trying to talk to me and stuff and I was smelling it. This is definitely what he was wearing. I, I can tell. And But I don't know why it smelled familiar. Maybe another guy that I knew wore it and I recognized it. It says it's fruity, tobacco, sweet, woody, warm and spicy. Doesn't smell fruity to me. My least favorite as well. Um... Uh, the last one is Prada it's Amber Pour Home. The bottle looks like that, nice and simple. Their sprayers are really good. Okay, this is alright. This is a fresh everyday one as well. The thing is, even if you go out with a guy on a date and he wears something that doesn't grab your attention but it's, he still smells of something, um, that's always a plus. No, not if he smells of something. Gotta smell good. Gotta smell good. But this is this is definitely nice and fresh. And you can wear this every day. Traveling, going out for a quick lunch, quick breakfast. Yeah, this is nice. I give it a seven. Just because you need your everyday frags. It might not be your sexy, but you need everyday frags. So I'm not gonna rate it low just because it's not your sexy daytime frag. It's nice. Okay, I guess time for my samples. Okay, Ooh, yeah. That's the one. Okay, so I got a lot of samples here, and we're gonna try a few. David off, run wild, and the bottle would look like that. I like it. I like it already. It's nice and fresh, but honestly, a lot of these smell pretty similar. Yeah, no, they probably smells pretty similar. Like it has that minty kind of um, aquatic vibe to it. it. Says it's lavender bush, cinnamon. It smells pretty fresh. This is nice. Nice. Mm. Six. Six only because it doesn't doesn't. You know what I mean? It doesn't. probably shouldn't do that yeah this is nice that's a that's a plus so far there's none that's like terrible the only one i really don't like is the diesel so yeah Ooh. a mugler thierry mugler a men pure malt so clearly mugler has this thing that he does because yeah i give it a four as well like how i would give the diesel yeah i don't care to smell this on a guy citrus with fruity notes maybe they just don't know how to mix fruity notes with men's fragrances because it don't smell like that whiskey and stuff in there but and coffee it doesn't excite me as these fragrances smell like only certain men would wear it only certain men that have like a different sense of taste Four fragrances and they go to different kind of places except the club would wear these so maybe I'm just not familiar with men's fragrances in that sense because it does smell a bit more like sophisticated than Sauvage <laughs> even though that's the one that gets me Sauvage smells like a bad boy he smells like he does damage okay whereas these ones you know these men probably take you out to fine dining and they spend good money on nice places. This is this is 
I'm changing my mind on this. This is this is all right. Still don't like the diesel, but this one's all right. Okay, so I've seen David off Cool Water Hair, and I've heard of that one. I believe that's pretty popular in y'all's frag world. So don't like it. Your fragrances smell so similar. Like, on I guess like because these are like designer ones. Like, unless you all go into your niche, like um, Tom Ford and stuff, maybe you all will get some difference. Sorry. Like, ours tend to smell a lot similar as well. Like, when we are a designer, it can be just very fruity and sweet. Fresh, um, aquatic kind of everyday. It's all right. I'd give it a six. You could wear this on an everyday, and I'm sure it would smell nicer on the skin of a man than just smelling it with a female nose thing. A Hugo Boss one. That definitely smells like cinnamon in it. That's nice. Spicy, sweet kind of vibe. Nothing crazy. You know, you have to also choose fragrances based on your personality. You might not be the kind of person to wear Sauvage. Because you might just think that it smells too arrogant. That's how it reminds me. It smells arrogant. Whereas these other perfumes, the sweeter ones, might be something more to your taste. Because it doesn't smell sweet like a woman's fragrance, but it smells sweet like a gentleman, you know? Sauvage is not a gentleman, okay? Sauvage is cheeky and a troublemaker, okay? He will get you into trouble, yeah? You don't trust the man wearing Sauvage, okay? You're a home intense. Okay, so they've got different... um versions they got a 2007 version and they have the 2011 version dear home intense it's nice uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we got spice bomb extreme lord like how i don't like spice bomb already let's see sometimes the intense versions smell nicer yeah it no no it's basically the same i want to smell the azaro azaro by night i like this one I like this one. It's nice and fresh and it's like a watered down version of like Sauvage. <laughs> it's nice. I'd give that a six. I would like a guy wearing this. I've only got two more, so you don't have to run away yet. I love this one. This smells like cherries. I like this one. I like this one. Mm, am I thinking of it like a woman and like because I would wear this like would I like to smell this on a guy? Yeah, I wonder what is he wearing? I like this. I like this. I think a man that wore this Like it's this smells cozy. This smells like you can go out in it. It smells really really nice I just don't know what kind of man would wear this like if you feel comfortable wearing something that smells so kind of fruity sweet this is nice, Ultraman by JP. Jean-Paul Gaultier, you doing it. You know, you, you does it right for us females, so you doing it. All right, oh, that's that blue bottle. That's the typical, back in the day, like a lot of people, a lot of guys wore these. I think I even used to see my dad with this one, but I know they have a lot of other ones. Like they had the lighter blue one with the kind of gray looking one. Vanilla, sweet, fruity, aromatic. I can smell that. It has cinnamon in there as well. This is nice. It smells fruitier than it has in the nose. Like it's just bergamot and um, lemon and, and pear. And it's probably the pear that's making it smell like that. This is nice. I would like my guy smelling like this. I give that one a 9 because Sauvage has my heart. This doesn't make me want to... Uh, uh, you know. But it's very, very nice. Very nice. Holidays, vacations. It's nice. Sauvage. <sighs> Sauvage is the man. And I, I feel so, so, so basic saying that because I'm sure Sauvage is like a basic perfume, cologne. But Sauvage is the man. Sauvage is the man that gets all the girls. Only if you have the right attitude to go with it. You have to have that, that vibe as well because if you're wearing Sauvage and you're like, pretty quiet like the fragrance can wear you so you have to wear it on a time that you really feel confident or you go into the club or something if you're not the kind of guy that is normally loud 
um yeah because savage can kind of take over d and g the one is nice as well that's nice fresh citrusy yeah if you have any fragrances that are sexy comment them down below so that i can get them for my future bae so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in another video bye